Hurricane Milton's losses of up to $34 billion could make it one of the costliest storms in U.S. history. Hurricane Milton's estimated losses could soar to $34 billion, potentially making it one of the most expensive storms in United States history, according to early estimates from CoreLogic. This figure includes between $4 billion and $6 billion in uninsured flood damage. This estimate reflects only the direct impacts of the hurricane, excluding damage from at least nine tornadoes that occurred alongside it. The storm was said to have caused at least 24 fatalities in Florida. Despite the significant destruction and financial losses, the initial assessments suggest that the damage could have been even worse. Most homeowners' insurance policies typically cover wind damage but not flooding, which is often covered by the National Flood Insurance Program, an FIP, administered by FEMA. Homeowners in high-risk flood zones are frequently required by lenders to have flood insurance. However, substantial flood damage can also occur outside these designated areas, leaving many homeowners without coverage. Core Logic's analysis indicates that most of Milton's losses stem from wind damage due to the storm's unusual behavior. As Milton approached land, it interacted with the jet stream, resulting in stronger-than-usual winds on the hurricane's northern and northwestern sides. Weather gauges also recorded hurricane force winds in Sarasota, south of where Milton made landfall, creating two distinct areas of destructive winds. Interestingly, despite the powerful winds, the amount of wind damage was less than anticipated, and there was minimal storm surge flooding, particularly in the densely populated Tampa Bay area. The losses from Milton are expected to be significantly lower than CoreLogic's estimates of up to $47.5 billion for Hurricane Helene which struck just two weeks earlier. Nonetheless, Milton could still rank among the 10 costliest hurricanes in U.S. history regarding insured losses, including those covered by the NFIP. If insured losses reach the upper end of the estimate, $22 billion from wind damage and $6 billion from flood damage, Milton would become the 10th costliest storm for insurers, just ahead of Hurricane Ike from 2008 when adjusted for inflation. Currently, the Insurance Information Institute ranks Ike as the ninth costliest storm, but this could change with Helene's recent impact. On the lower end, CoreLogic estimates insured losses could total $17 billion, with $13 billion in wind damage covered by homeowners and business insurance, and $4 billion in insured flood losses. The proximity of Milton to Hurricane Helene poses a significant recovery challenge for Floridians and their insurers. The insurance market in Florida is already under strain, with many national insurers exiting and numerous local companies facing financial difficulties. Homeowners in Florida are already paying much higher premiums than those in other states. Citizens Property Insurance Corporation, the state-backed insurer of last resort, currently has 1.3 million policies and would be insolvent if it were a private company. As a public entity, it can impose premium surcharges on all policyholders to cover claims that exceed its financial reserves, which would increase costs for all insured homeowners and businesses in the state. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the Affordable Alternative Housing Solution channel for more insightful content. Thanks for watching.